Today I'm going to try to build a setup in one day and it's going to be inspired by a build from my setup review series. This is the setup I'm talking about and another element of the setup will be inspired by Random Frank P his setup. He uses these aluminum desk risers, they look amazing. I bought them myself and I want to show you how to add them to your setup because it fits perfectly together with this desktop from Ikea. I bought lots of great stuff for that and maybe you're not gonna believe it but I've never built Alex drawers or used Alex drawers so I bought those for the very first time and we're gonna check out everything after this sponsor segment. Owned.tv offers beautiful animated overlays that will make your stream look better in no time. Whether you want a Christmas theme for the coming holidays, an officially licensed Call of Duty Warzone theme or any other style from their huge library of completely animated overlay packs, they have it all and they are optimized for Twitch and YouTube streaming. Besides overlays, their best selling services are the two emote makers which will let you create static or animated emotes for your stream. If you want to get your own graphics, go to owned.gg slash tvn or click the link on top of my description and use my code TVN at checkout for 50% of the price. Now I know you've all seen countless setups with IKEA Alex drawers, but they are being used for a reason. And I just want to quickly show you what you can expect when you buy an Alex drawer yourself. First impression of the building process, yikes. Now, the building of most IKEA furniture works in a very similar way. You get these things that have one side open. You have a part of a screw in this hole. You just push this in. And then when you tighten it, you will see this gap closing. I'm gonna show you. Now this here is very sturdy. So the main unit is already finished. I did one drawer already and they are much easier than I would expect. So you choose a small or a big drawer. Four of these go into that. Two of the side planks go on that. Then we use these typical IKEA screws again. Fix it. Then a very thin plank. This becomes the bottom of the shelf. Then there is a back plate. Goes onto that. And then there are these plastic screws and they just go in the side. Let's push it in completely. And then the drawer is pretty much finished. We can now shove the drawer on top of the rails. And then we have the last tiny screw, which goes in on the inside to attach the drawer to the rails. So I said I wanted to try to build a setup in one day. It is 8.30 PM right now. My life clearly is a mess and I have five and a half more hours to try and finish this setup. So I'm going to build the second Alex drawer and boom, the second one is finished. It is now 10 PM. I'm going to start a four hour timer. I'm going to put it right there in the corner. Now I did make a horrible mistake because these desk risers, which are awesome, by the way, I actually needed four of them on one side and then four of them on the other side. I only bought four in total. So I want to try and see if it will look good if I use them only on the outside. Now, this is definitely a high desk with these risers. <laughs> it's almost a standing desk, which is weird since I'm six foot five. <clears throat> Okay, now to be fair, it doesn't look bad at all. We also have some options because we can move this to the front and like this, they are a bit more visible, which I thought was going to look better. However, as you can see, the black plastic is more visible like this. If you put them more to the back like this and then we zoom out a bit, they are still very visible. However, the black isn't really there unless we go down. Now I have a lot of double sided tape. Can't wait for my setup building or cable management kit to come out, which by the way is still going to be a while. But this is another example of these types of products coming in very handy. I'm not gonna have to use any screws. I'm gonna tape it like this, put the desk on it. It's gonna be really tight. Take the protector off and then let's drop the desk on the double sided tape. This is not gonna move anymore. And would you look at that? This looks absolutely amazing. And you've probably already seen this RGB strip and then the panels right there, here all to the left. And while we do have some other RGB from Govi for this setup here, as you can see the panels, those will replace those panels. However, the RGB profile will stay. And let me show you, it's from the previous video and it's absolutely amazing. Would you look at that? As I said, this here will be added to the setup. This is for besides the screens. And then this from Govi, by the way, they helped sponsoring this video because all these setups are really expensive. But let me show you those panels. This is from the Christmas setup. Let me show you some themes. They are controllable with an application. And then this, for example, is an ocean theme. We also have this effect here and you can absolutely adjust this to any setup. By the way, according to my timer, we have three hours and 12 minutes left. But I think we're gonna be able to pull it off. First thing I need to check is if these hexagon panels are the same size as those. And they are, and it's the same mounting system. So I'm gonna be able to simply replace those. These ones here were called the Govi 
Glide hexagon panels and then these are the Pro and we're gonna check them out but I assume it's because it's three segments instead of one. Now if you decide to get these or you have them and you want to take them off the wall as you can see I failed two times completely destroyed the wall and apparently the way to do it is to grab one corner and then keep wiggling until they come off. Now the way you connect these panels to each other is through the back so there are these cables included and you push one in like this and then you pass the signal to another one and then this way two are connected and you don't see it from the front. As you can see all these connections need to follow a path so for this one for example as you can see here by the arrow the signal comes in right here and then it leaves in two places but to know exactly how to connect them you need to use the application. We have the normal hexa panels and then the pro it is pairing right now and then they get you to some builder where I just built a setup and you can just add Add panels like this and then also remove them again. This is actually awesome. Look at this. We have two hours and 39 minutes left. This is gonna be really hard. So I'm gonna connect the first one. <laughs> Look at that. It already turns on. This looks pretty cool with the three parts. You gotta give it to them. So this way it looks like a cube. So I'm going to push it on here and look at that. I finished it. I really like this setup already. Now I just checked out the application under scenes here. There's a bunch of options. For example, this here is the ocean theme, which is the same thing we checked out on those panels and you can clearly see a difference this is what govi calls the 3d lighting effect it is definitely an upgrade compared to the one area per panel of these ones i mean look at them in the back especially if they are blurred like this on the background of your stream for example this is amazing now this is the pc i used in my previous build in the christmas setup it's my main pc the style of this pc fits perfectly with the panels this is gonna be one hell of a setup now i've been testing a few positions with these two screens and then also with these govi lights because these are all also things we're gonna add to the setup it's behind this here this is the govi light bar or gaming bar it's govi rgb ic gaming light bar so they come with the remote i have to say this feels like a very premium product since you have to turn them to the wall govi also made sure that the front of the light looks pretty clean i am going to install this monitor mount for the monitor in the middle however i want to change the color of the pc and i'm gonna make it blue like this and look at that i need to rearrange some stuff but it's gonna look fire now this monitor stand is a very beefy one because the monitor because the ultra wide monitor is very heavy the name is the lg 38 gn 950 it is very expensive but it's also absolutely worth the money if you're looking for a huge monitor that's great for gaming very color accurate and i almost forgot it does have RGB on the back. And as you can see, it's working because it's all kinds of colors. We're gonna make it blue. And there we go. Now we have even more RGB behind them. Now the Govi gaming light bars are an amazing addition to your setup. And as I mentioned before, they look very premium. The remote has four buttons. One to turn the lights on or off. Then one to enable the music reactionary mode. The next one is to enable the brightness adjustment mode, allowing you to control the brightness with the wheel. And then the fourth button is to enable the color adjustment mode, which lets you accurately cycle through all colors and govi is giving a black friday deal from november 25th till november 28th both the gaming light bars and the hexagon panel pros have a huge discount along with some other products i will put the information on the screen you will find links to these products for amazon and their own website in the description this has to be one of my favorite setups so far. The look of this wood is amazing. Now, it was one of the more expensive IKEA countertops. I will link it in the description. I don't know the name. By the way, I've wanted to buy these headphones for ages now. And I'm gonna try together with this Bluetooth adapter if the lag of this headset... Well, it's not a headset. These are headphones. And I'm gonna check if there's any lag. Because I would love to walk around with these headphones in my studio. And then also use them at the setup. Now, this here was extremely cheap. It was $7. And I thought it was gonna fit perfectly with this setup so i'm quickly going to unbox the headphones i'll check them out later but i'm gonna put them on the stand i want to see it special moment by the way these are pretty expensive i would never buy them if i couldn't use them in a video oh look at that these are so clean i hope they will fit my head because it's pretty big and they kind of do okay this is gonna be awesome to walk around in my studio this is absolutely amazing it fits perfectly with the setup we have 37 minutes left and then i'm gonna have to stop recording <laughs> this is yet another wireless mouse i I bought because i'm on a quest of buying all the popular wireless mice i want to be able to compare them all choose my favorite one i think about pretty much all of the more expensive ones like glorious modulo wireless the razer viper ultimate and so this is the logitech g502 lightspeed and i wanted to check out this one because i think this has weights oh look at that so this is the wireless receiver it's the small usb like you see a lot but then in here we have a bunch of weights to change the weight distribution and the overall weight of the mouse this for example is a very 
tiny foreground weight. Oh, okay. So apparently the bottom here comes off like this. And in here you can put the small weights, which are two grams, for example. Like this and so here in the bottom compartment of the mouse inside of the cover you can add the two bigger weights and then it just magnetically closes again and like that the mouse is a bit more heavy right now there are more weights to add if you want there's also a bunch of micro buttons on the mouse you can unlock the scroll wheel and then make it scroll infinitely now the keyboard i chose is a compact tanky less design it is ooh, very heavy it's the first time i get a keyboard with red switches i really wanted to test that feels great already as a first look now i think it's a wireless is it wireless? I'm so used to always choosing wireless products that I thought it was going to be, but it's not. However, I don't really mind because it feels like a quality keyboard and the black design together with the red switches underneath it looks very good. Look at that. It's very clean. Didn't think I was going to do it, but I'm contemplating using this softbox here in this setup together with this desk stand because I did use this in a previous video. However, it didn't work with the desk stand. These type of lights are bread and butter in filmmaking. However, in streaming, people keep using these low quality LED panels and some Sometimes they are very expensive and I'm not saying they aren't good, but using a softbox like this will always make your skin look better, make it more smooth, reduce the shadows in the background, like all kinds of stuff. Now the price of this combo will probably be around $250, which is definitely a lot for a light. However, there are a lot of people that are building streaming setups and that use two LED panels of $200 each. So I want to check if it will fit this setup. By the way, I'm also very excited to test this webcam here. This is the Razer Kaijo Pro. I did test the Razer Razer Kaijo in my Galaxy streaming setup and I was really impressed with the quality of that webcam for the price so I really wanted to test this one because it's an upgrade so let's move the PC let's bring up the stand let's hope it goes high enough think this will be perfect let's hope it is Ooh, I think this is gonna be perfect and this might not be the most aesthetically pleasing part to add to a setup but for a streaming setup this is absolutely awesome let's try to turn on the softbox there we go. And so it's time to add the webcam, the microphone, and then check what the end result looks and sounds like. This microphone arm looks like a very premium one and the price is actually in between of the cheap ones and then the premium ones. I did use it in a previous video already, but so many people are looking for a decent and affordable microphone arm. So far, I haven't found a better option for around 60 to $70. This microphone here is very exciting to check out because I did use the HyperX Quadcast a lot in previous videos. It sounds amazing. Amazing. and more so it sounds amazing out of the box without any effects however the HyperX Quadcast only has red lights this one here is the HyperX Quadcast S and this one is RGB you actually don't need a microphone arm with this you can just put it in front of you it's very tall so this could suffice however it will probably be in the way because you want to type and then it's here and then as a result some people put it over there and that's a very bad idea because it's really far away from your mouth and it will sound horrible <laughs> that was the timer of the four hours. They are over, but I am going to be able to finish this setup today because, well, besides the webcam, it's pretty much done. This looks absolutely amazing. I love this microphone. I just got us a mouse pad and then also a USB extension cable. If you didn't know this existed, this is really useful because the USB cable from the mic isn't long enough to travel all the way back to there to the PC. So I can use this extension cable and then that way I can route it all the way across the back. There's a pretty big chance that when I launch my mouse pads, this will be one of the designs i know it's been used a lot but people just love this design i mean look at the corner here it looks amazing with my logo please let me know in the comments what you think about me launching this design as part of a series by the way not only this but i think this looks pretty good okay then let's quickly unbox this webcam i have a feeling that it's gonna look um <laughs> this looks so futuristic now i don't know about you let me zoom in a bit but I really like how this webcam looks. It looks very beefy, it looks professional, and it's gonna look amazing on here. Let's check out the cable. I feel like this one is gonna be pretty short. This noise cancelling of these headphones is crazy. It's completely quiet. Now, before I forget, I also added an IKEA Linman tabletop as the back of the desk. In a setup like this, I couldn't not use my false wall setup hack. Okay, so I'm gonna do a test of everything now. Now, the mic is muted, because as you can see, no RGB, but when I tap this, it turns on, and it will probably cycle through a bunch of colors that's great and you will probably hear the microphone now apparently the webcam has three field of view options it has hdr in 30 fps now i have to say for around a hundred dollars for the webcam i'm not really sure if i would recommend it i am going to test some more webcams around that price range because i definitely think i could find better ones for the price the microphone however this is an amazing choice if you don't need software for stream control the microphone is amazing like always all products used will be linked in the description thanks a lot for watching 
watching and I hope I will see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.